Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome back. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBS Fun. Today we're going to talk about the date add uh, date add function in VBA. Um, Why well, I had a question from one of our uh, viewers, and they were asking, how do you add uh, two or three months to the date? Uh, exactly two or three months. So keep it the first of each month. And there's a long answer and there's a short answer. And the short answer is using the date add function instead of messing with this day minus that day plus you know 30 days or plus the next month or whatever. And then extracting the month and extracting the year and then adding a month and then if if the month is the 12th month then you have to add one to, you know if you add one month and then you have to add one to the year well, this is so much simpler. So we're going to go over a lot of different ways that you can add. For example, you can add um, minutes. You can add seconds. You can add a couple months, two or three months, to whatever date you start with. Or you can even add a quarter or a year or whatever. So let's get started with, uh, let's just have our starting date. Um, let's hit F Alt F11, as we always do. And to get started, let's go ahead and pull up a new module. So we'll click down here and click on module. So now we're in the thick of it. So what are we going to call our new macro? Let's call it uh, sub uh, date add test. We don't want to call it date add or Excel will get mad that we're using the same one as a built-in function. So what's our starting date? We'll call it st date is let's just say um, 12 13 1986 okay so let's hit f8 and f8 and see what fills into st date let's see it's got that uh, so it's gonna take it as text we might want to do a c date that's another lesson but basically c date will convert whatever expression you put into it as a date and convert it into date format instead of a text string type of format. So let's let's go back and hit F8 and it should take that. So now we have our starting date. Now let's manipulate it using date add. So we'll say um, let's add um, well you know you know that we can add plus or minus a number of days by just saying plus three that would make it 12 16 1986 so we could always say uh, our new number is going to be equal to st date plus three that's the easy way of adding like three days to it if I hit f8 um, that would be well it's not telling so let's debug dot print and we'll say what we want to know what this new num is if I see there if I hit enter it says that it was the 16th so let's take our new number and let's make that equal to our start uh, our let's use date add and when I hit my open parentheses you'll see you take the interval let's see if you can see this uh, you take the interval number so uh, for example uh, what type of interval we're going to use. How about uh, let's add one month to it. Let's use the letter M for month over here. So we'll use it as a string. That A string means it's text surrounded by quotes. Now I hit comma. The number, how many months do we want to add to the date uh, here? Let's add uh, five months exactly to the starting date here. And what's the date we're going to use? You could either type in a date in quotes like 12, 13, 1986, but we want to keep this nice and dynamic. We want to keep it to where we can change it anytime we want. So let's just use ST date. We've already locked in that date here. So let's hit that here. Now I'm going to backtrack my arrow to the new number. So new num is going to be equal to the date add using months. And how many months? Five and we're adding it to this date. So let's hit F8 and then we'll double check here. What is new number? We're going to debug.print the phrase new number. And now we see that it is 5-13-1987. So it just added five months exactly to our starting date. That's pretty sweet. Let's add um, let's add uh, five weeks. Ooh. 
What's that? Five weeks. I just changed that to a W looking over here. Oh, excuse me. Five weekdays. If you want to do five weeks, it would be WW. Oh, this is exciting. Let's add weekdays. So I guess Monday through Friday. Let's add let's add five weekdays to that. Hit F8. Debug.print. Hit enter. So that would be 1218. Let's add 60 weekdays. And hit F8. Debug.print. So as you can see, the date has just changed to that. So there's a lot you can do with that. Um, again, uh, this is... Uh, Okay, so weekdays would be kind of like days. You could put the D letter D for days, or you could say, I want to add 60 weeks to the day to that right there. So let's try that. We're going to add 60 weeks. Ooh, now I'm debugged at print. So that would be 2-6-1988. Interesting. How about we want to add, in this, in this lady's case, she wanted to add, excuse me, she wanted to add one quarter to the date each time. So just one quarter, or three months. So you could put the letter M there and put three, or you could put a Q and hit one. And she wanted it to increment each quarter. So this is what we ended up doing, is it took that. And then let's say she wanted to loop this. For example, you could say for X is one to four, or one to however many you want. Then we're going to indent this, next x. All right, so in this case, if we start it over, um, let's hit let's hit that there. So F8, F8. In fact, each time we're just gonna debug.print. I don't know why it's not uh, letting me hover over it. Debug.print, our new number. Okay, so. We'll take that. Well, let's let's uh, let's think about that. X is one to four, and then we'll take that. Uh, so that'll be our starting date, and then uh, here's our first quarter of the starting date. Okay, so we need to change this from saying new number to using the same variable. So the starting date is going to be whatever the last starting date was. Uh, well, goodness. Nope, nope, nope. We need to take this out of the whole equation and put it at the beginning before the loop. Okay, so, all right, I got this. So the initial starting date is going to be 12, 13, 1986. Then we start the loop uh, the first time around. Yeah, the start date is going to be equal to... Um, one quarter later than the original start date. And so when we debug .print st date, it'll show up down here. Let's clear all these previous ones so we can see. Hit F8. So there's the first one. Hit next. And then start date is going to be uh, adding another quarter. We'll debug .print that down here. So 613. Then we'll go up another quarter, 9, 13, and 12, 13, 1987. So it just incremented uh, four quarters. So that's pretty awesome. Anyway, there's multiple applications. If you're working with time, um, you could use the hours, the minutes, the seconds. So that's pretty cool. We could have the starting date actually be today's date by typing the word date at the beginning. Let's run this macro again, F8, F8. So starting date equals date, which is today's date. So then when we de debug dot print, let's erase all this. Uh, hit F8, 7-6-2013, that'd be a quarter away. And then another quarter, another quarter, another quarter. You could use that with the time. I believe time, if you type that in, would be exactly like saying equals now in an Excel sheet, but time puts in the current time. So let's see how that works. And then instead of adding quarters, we will add uh, minutes. We will add 10 minutes to the time, and then we'll debug that, print that down here. That'll be interesting. Hit a fate. So we should change this to start time, but I'm lazy, so it's still ST date. So from 1 to 4, so the current time is actually 1.59 p.m., and this will be uh, 
let's see. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my goodness. Did I put... Okay, M is month, not minute. How about N for minute? Apologies, everybody. Let's rerun this one. I'll erase all that. I was wondering why I was putting the date in there. It's because I was adding months. Okay, so uh, it's right 2 o'clock on the dot, so this should say 2.10 p.m. Yep, 2.20, 2.30, 2.40 p.m. So uh, that is pretty freaking sweet, you guys. Anyway, play around with that. It's a really easy way to add and subtract uh, times. In fact, I wonder if we could do negative 10. I didn't, I've never tried using uh, negative numbers there, but I imagine it would function the same. So it should say um, 1.50 p.m. if it works. Oh my gosh, we took away 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, so play around with that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. God bless.